All right, we're out here in Wooden, or excuse me, Woodenville. We're out here in Bonnie Lake. It's called Wood Residence. This is an asphalt project in Bonnie Lake. Uh, Dan ran into this uh, construction guy, um, I think in Bonnie Lake or Buckley. And so we're not too far off of um, South Prairie Road, close to Costco. And he's got a driveway here that needs to be paved. This sucker is steep. Okay, so um, we're not gonna have to worry about street use permit type stuff being out here in this location of Bonnie Lake. We've got staging on the side of the road here. We can park on the side of this road here. We've got some room down the road here as well, where we can park along the side. You can see there's some construction going on just down the road there. So there's some areas close by where we can stage our equipment and not block this off for these people. Okay, um, so what we're doing here is we're gonna tie into this existing asphalt here. Okay, so this kind of goes up, it's buried underneath this rock here but we'll assume right here we'll tie in we're only going to go 10 feet wide when you come into the initial drive here um but then what we'll do is we'll uh we'll stay to the left so from that post we'll come down and tie in and we'll only go about 12 feet wide at this section here and then what we'll end up doing here is we'll kind of pave over to the wall here and we'll keep the asphalt up tight against the wall and we'll still be at 10 feet until we get to that post and then when we get to that post it ends up getting wider okay i've got a drawing here as you're looking at it down here is the bottom of the hill where it's gray it goes up the hill and it has a platform up there this is all on a pretty steep incline until you get to the top. There's no way my car would get up this right now. I mean, maybe. Definitely didn't want to try it. So right here at the bottom, we're already at 13.4% grade and it only gets steeper. This section right here, you're looking at about a 28% grade. Super steep. get up here to the really steep part where his truck is yeah we're looking at about the same about 28.4 percent so the incline is it's going to be anywhere between 28 29 percent going up the hill here so from that post there we go from the wall to the post and it'll be that wide going up and as we get up to this post asphalt will have like a little bit of a hammerhead going out over in that direction and bob bob wood the guy that's doing the work right now he's going to excavate this get this all ready to go i'm going to tell him to provide the rock in here so that way there's not a lot of grading to do. He says he's gonna handle the grading, but he says he'll probably have it at about 85% good to go. The question he had was, can we pave over this uh, bigger rock or does he have to remove it? Or can you put like two inches of rock, of uh, crushed rock, five eighths on top of it? Because it's so steep, I'm not sure. This is the steepest one I've dealt with. But uh, we'll talk about that uh, in the office. But yeah, this will kind of curve out to here. This will get flattened out. And then from the back of those blocks there, the asphalt's gonna go up around the corner, tie into the corner of the building. And the edge of the asphalt will be on the corner of the foundation of the garage. It'll come straight out. This will be a turnaround point. You can go back down the hill. So right now I'm assuming that the paver isn't gonna do this type of grade because how steep it is. We'll probably end up doing this by hand. Um, I would know the, I know the mini excavator um, 
is something we could use, you know, to do the, the fine grading on this. I'm going to try to get out of just doing any of the crushed rock. So we'll just do a little bit of grading and then uh, put in the asphalt. And we're looking at two and a half inches of asphalt. So we're at 62 feet at the post from where the uh, asphalt is down there where we would tie in. So 10 feet is right about here. So it's short of the post there. So from this point where we're at 10 feet, I think what we'll end up doing is probably starting from that post, we'll taper it, taper it in here to the 10 foot mark. It'll be a little bit wider down there. So what we need to do there is we need to add um, about a five foot by 12 foot section there where the honey bucket is to fill in that spot. Okay, that way he's got no weeds growing up against the wall here. And then from this point, we'll go to the width of the post. And from the post here, it'll be 13 feet wide from here going up to the next post. It's 29. Then we got 19 feet up here at the apron. 19 feet here to there. By four. <clears throat> then there'll be another 19 by five right here. And then from up there, after we make the corner and come this way, We've got a 30 feet, 30 foot by 13, 30 by 13 in here. And then it heads down. Yeah, good luck, good luck. <laughs> That's right, will do. <laughs> so big questions here is whether or not we need to have that layer of rock removed or can we go over the top and or can we leave the rock, but we need to put five eighths on top of it? And do we need a couple inches of it? Okay, that's the one question. The other one is uh, um, how we're gonna pave this at that grade. So down here at the bottom of the hill, Bob's gonna have to do some drainage work there, but he said he'll do that as a change order later on. Um, we might even just create a new job number four but yeah he'll have this ready to go and uh i told him that dan would be contacting him once he approves the bid 